Hey everybody, hope you're having a great cleaning day. And unfortunately, a uh, vacuum that I had for about 10 years finally died on me. And I was looking at uh, several vacuums. I've been a fan of uh, Shark products for many years. I've used uh, their steamer and also one of their blenders. And so I was really focusing on Shark. I thought I had two models in mind. And then when I was looking further, somebody had said, why don't you consider getting the Shark Rocket, uh, you know, a stick type vacuum? And I never really thought about it. I just thought of regular standard vacuum. I live in about a 750 square foot apartment, and you know, I really don't need a very big vacuum. And after doing research, it seemed like the Shark Rocket would be a great way to go. Now, I don't have any pets, and as you can see here, I have the Shark Rocket, which is the true pet. This is the HV322 model, but there are some nice features that this has over the original Rocket. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to putting it to the test. I want to do an open boxing and then uh, show you the components that come with it and then really put it to the test. And uh, it will be nice to uh, clean my floor because I haven't actually vacuumed in a week. I was trying to put together this video, so here we go. So this is the, uh, seems to be the latest one. This is the True Pet Ultra Light Upright. Uh, it has the versatile vacuum uh, for pets. Uh, deep cleaning, uh, deep cleans carpets better than a Dyson DC 40 Upright, it says here. Powerful cleaning without the weight. It has uh, two times the capacity with removable dust cup, and I'll show you that. That is definitely a nice advantage that this unit has. Uh, and that's as compared to the original Rocket, the HV300 Ultra Light Upright. Uh, it has superior carpet and hard floor cleaning, and it has these LED lights, and it can be an on-storage um, part there as well. And, um, and they did a nice job with the box, just uh, sharing some different ways how you can use it. Uh, I'm going to laugh a little bit or share with you here, I actually use a product called the Flowbee and I use it to connect to a vacuum, so it'd be nice because here you can almost use it as a dust buster feature and I can connect the hose right to that and I don't have to have this uh, big uh, vacuum that's in my bathroom when I'm cutting my hair. All right, so let's go ahead and get it open. I'm really uh, excited that I have this one and again, the, uh, there are some nicer features uh, as far as um, sharing with you versus the original one. So. Let me go ahead and cut this open. Here we go. That's that. And there we go. All right. So let's see. So boost your rocket. And then um, it also includes tools. It comes with a dusting brush, a pet upholstery tool, a 12 inch crevice tool, a hard floor genie, and a true pet mini motorized brush. And uh, again, it shows it over here, and then also what's inside. Uh, and then it just talks about questions or problems to actually call the company and not uh, call, not bring it back to um, you know the store. Do not do not return to the store. Call the call the company. So there is the packaging that you can expect when you open it. So let me start removing some parts here. All right, got that. This first part here, this is, looks like this may be the, the heart. This is the actual, uh, this is the bottom part of the vacuum. Uh, very nice, and it's got a, a swivel uh, component to it, which uh, for, for steering. Uh, it's got the um, indicator, the uh, brush roll indicator light, so I guess if it's picking up, uh, edge cleaning and then you've got the uh, foot marker so you can put your foot down and then and then close it so you can just step down and then this should come down and then you have your wand release right here and then you have your LED lights there so that's that part there next up take and this is the uh, floor the hardwood floor piece So you'll be able to use this uh, in your, if you, you know, again, if you obviously live uh, in a home that doesn't have carpeting, my apartment would not be right. So there you go. It's got a nice swivel motion there. 
And then it has in here, it's got the uh, hardwood genie attachment instructions, the microfiber. So uh, we'll go ahead and let's go ahead and put that on, I guess, since we're doing the whole unboxing. And let's see what else it says. Use for dry, bare floor surfaces. Avoid dust, a damp floor and wet, sticky messes. Use sharp dust away and hard floor genie pads only. Care machine wash with warm water. Do not bleach or fabric softener. Tumble dry low by hand. Hand wash with liquid detergent and line dry. Uh, and then it has it in the, uh, the uh, Spanish as well, the language. So it looks like it's got a very nice microfiber cloth. And then all you would do is just put that on there. Nice, it's got, uh, I'm sure I put this on correctly. Very nice, so you got that on there and then it's got these little tabs for pulling off. So they did a really nice job there with that piece. So we got that. Next up. We've got the uh, pet roller, which I'm not going to use. I'll keep in the bag, but I'll take it out for this video purposes. Let's see what it says here. This is the motorized brush for True Pet. Recommended use. The accessory picks up loose debris that uh, and powerfully decleans uh, dander out of upholstery and surfaces. So actually. You know, I would probably uh, use this uh, from time to time on my couch, even though um, it's really meant for pets uh, as the brush. So that's a nice bonus that you get with uh, this unit here. So I'll go ahead and put that uh, back in the bag. All right. What do we have here next? Next up, we've got the additional uh, tools. Here, this is one that looks like for dust, a dust cleaner tool. Nice brush for cleaning there. So you got that uh, and the, the shark logo there. Next up, got another accessory. This is the, let me see what this might be. This one here is the, uh, this is the uh, pet upholstery tool. So that's, that, that brush will definitely come in handy. Um, so I'll keep that in the bag, but the pet there, and it's got the, the brush, as you can see, for picking up the hair. Next up, we have, this is just, oh, this is uh, for hanging uh, on your wall. If you decide you wanna wall hang the unit, you've got that there. And then what's nice too, it comes with a very big bag to put all your components in, which uh, nice job there uh, by Shark. So I can keep these all, you know, right there in the bag and it's got a string to keep that closed there. And then we have the instruction piece here and let's see, moving right along. We've got next the uh, hose extender, which obviously you'll need as you clean the floor. So we got that there. It's got uh, the storage hook and the storage hook as well for your cord. By the way, it's a 30 foot cord. And then you got your wand release there. And uh, so we got that. And then last but not least, and most importantly, is the vacuum. Let me just go ahead and make sure there's nothing else in here. Oh, we got one other one other piece. And this piece here is the crevice tool. So there you go. I think that is about it. Got everything out. This will also go in my bag. Let me move this out of the way. So let me first take the uh, cord out. There. Now, one of the things that I did like on my whole vacuum is I press a, a button and the cord goes right back in here. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to wound the cord. It comes with this uh, cover when you first take it out of the box. And there is the unit. 
Uh, it stores easily, it says. Simply attach the hand vac in place, hook above floor nozzle. Uh, and then it also says to maintain powerful suction, hand wash both filters once a month. Uh, let's see, the uh, filters clean monthly right here. It's right up here. So you got one filter, and then it has the second filter, and then it's got a little piece for pulling. So that would go in first. You put that in there, and again, I'm going to make sure to follow the instructions, push that back in place. And you got uh, two levels here. Uh, for the first one, it's bare floors and area rugs. And the second one is for high uh, pile carpets. And then, of course, you've got your, uh, your dust uh, cap here, where all the debris is going to go into. Now, this is where I think this is a nice addition. So basically this one you can take right off and then you can empty it out. It's got another release here. So with the original unit you actually had, it was all attached and all you had was the ability to just, you know, release it and you would have to hold. It's not, I mean, it's not a major big deal, but one of the nice things though, again, you could take that whole piece off. It's twice the capacity as well. So uh, bravo to um, Shark there. So that is that. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. So again, you can store it one of two ways. I'm going to just move this out of the way a little bit. One, you can attach your piece here and then attach it to the vacuum. And then when you have your closet, you can store it and then wrap, you can wrap the cable or the cord uh, to the unit and then just lean it against the wall. Now one of the things you'll see it's it's heavier weight on top So you can't just stand the vacuum up. You might have to just put it on the ground when you're when you're cleaning uh, the other storage way you can do this is um, pull pull the uh, piece off here uh, Actually, you can actually go like this. This is kind of nice Well, I think you can. Oh, I see. Actually, you have to take the wand off here. And then what you would do is just place that like that, and then you can store uh, your unit. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm just trying to think if I thought there was another part here too, but I guess, I guess not. Um, oh, yes, you can actually. It's got, uh, as you can see, uh, I should show you here, and I'll attach that later. Let me see. I think with with one of the parts for the uh, pet, if you you know if you for your pet, you can um, let me pull that back out. Yeah, I was just thinking about that as I was taking this apart because I remember on the box it has uh, these two parts, and then I think you can hook it to here. So let me see if I've got it in the bag. Oh yeah, and, and inside, actually, the bag, inside the bag, uh, which has the uh, wall hanging piece, you can actually attach this on here, and then you can put other parts on. So, very cool. So, you can, uh, if you've got your pet item, you could put that on there. So, that's a nice addition. Um, or, if I've got this uh, crevice piece here which I know I'll use from time to time. You could put that on the bottom and then you could put that on top too. So very nice job there, what Shark has done. Again, I'm not gonna need the uh, pet uh, piece right now, so I'll just keep that in the, in the bag for the moment. And, uh, and then next up, we're gonna go ahead and do is plug it in and put it to the test. Again, I haven't cleaned my carpeting in a week, so it's going to be nice to have a clean carpet. We'll see how much it picks up uh, when I'm done. So let's get it plugged in and give it a shot. Here we go. All right, let's go ahead and turn it on. Got to put the box away and uh, let's see how this thing works. So I'm going to put it on number two, which is the high pile carpet. <laughs>
notice right away it's not very loud, which is kind of nice. Uh, hopefully it's putting out, having enough power. It's got 500 watts. It's very smooth. I like the uh, LED light to let me know that it's picking up. Um, if you can see it's already uh, filling, uh, filling up a little bit in there. You can already see on the bottom just the little bit that I did right there. It's, uh, let me just open this up. And uh, there you go, it's already uh, getting that, that dust out very nice and quickly and quietly. All right, let's uh, really keep it going. And I will be back after I've had a chance to uh, clean a decent amount uh, of the carpeting in my apartment. Okay, so I got done as you can see with my living room dining room and it did a very good job I like that. It's not too loud and One of the things though is the piece is not very wide So you're gonna have to do a little bit more vacuuming with this than you might do with a standard vacuum But uh, let's see this is uh, wow. Oh my goodness. Just a little bit that I've done I could see how much it actually picked up and that's pretty impressive. So I'm gonna Go ahead and open it up here a second just so you can see and I'll have to dust it back I normally wouldn't do this but that bit that you saw me vacuuming that's how much it picked up and there's even some more in here so that's pretty nasty what's in your carpet and really impressive uh, what it did pick up um, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this and I know I just let some dust in the air but you know for the video purposes I wanted to show you next up I'm gonna go ahead and I uh, try this on my kitchen floor with the uh, other piece, the other attachment for, you know, for hardwood floors or non-carpet surfaces. So you can see there and we'll see how much it picks up as well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and change the attachment. Make it nice and easy. Connect, put this to the side. And now let's go ahead and clean the kitchen floor. And then you put it up for option one here, bare floors and area rugs. So as you can see, I tried here for just a little bit, and uh, it did a nice job. It was very smooth, rolling. Um, it, I can definitely hear it picking up well. So, um, so it did a great job there. And what, again, what's nice is you have the ability if you need to, you know, take the bottom piece off here, and you can, you know, get into those you know, crevices. They've got the uh, this crevice tool here. You can put that on, and then. Use that, the, the wand extender, or you could take it off. It's so great, there's just so many options that you can do with this. And then you have it as the uh, dust buster, you can get under, you get underneath the oven. Excellent, it really, uh, just really loving this in, in my hand. It doesn't feel too heavy, uh, so great job there. And uh, one of the things, by the way, this indicator here for when you're vacuuming on your carpet, it just, it just shows the brush uh, roll indicator so you know it's working. But uh, all in all, really impressed. Again, this is the model for pets, but I think with the upgrades, I'm actually glad I have it. Uh, I think it's a little bit lighter too. Uh, I like the, uh, the fact that you can take this piece off, uh, also twice the capacity uh, for filling up uh, whatever you're picking up uh, off the ground, and uh, really looking forward to using it 
for my car, my electronics, I'm going to order one of those car kits, which you can also use for cleaning your electronics as well. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know. I hope this video was of help for you to make a decision if this would be for you. But my first impressions are very impressed with the product. Uh, this is certainly a nice change from what I had before, uh, except for having to wrap the cord. But, you know, I'll, I'm sure not a big deal. And it will come in handy uh, if I need, you know, a quick, quick fix or whatever it might be. Uh, and then also using it for the Floby, which I've been using for many years, and it just makes it a whole lot easier when I cut my hair. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great cleaning day. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.